You're listening to Products of War by the band Perish the Land. Go to ReverbNation.com, Perish the Land, to listen to more. What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing? Hey, thought I'd do a quick wrestling movie review. So here we go. Uh, mankind, for all mankind. This Blu-ray is a must-have for any fan of Mankind, the Attitude Era, or for maybe even some wrestling fans who never saw this stuff. It was super interesting to hear Mick Foley's uh, opinion and experiences in, in every aspect. You know some of the stories, they've been repeated a bunch of times before, but this really is a different take and a different look on the situation from Mick Foley. I loved it. I felt for the first time ever that you know Mick Foley showed that you know he was in real pain in a lot of these matches and he, and he told a lot more backstory than maybe we're used to. Maybe if you didn't read his book, you know, a lot of, a lot of this um, stuff went by the wayside and you didn't know what he was all about. But you're going to know after you watch this DVD that's packed with all the best matches. Mick Foley talks about his best matches, some of his worst, things he were disappointed in. Talk about actually being angry at the crowd when they cheer for Stone Cold Steve Austin and not him after all he put his body through. He, was, he actually comes across legitimately... You know, upset about that, and that's when he decided, you know, to be kind of a heel at that time. That was wicked interesting. And let me tell you, you can, you can listen, you can buy it on Blu-ray, you can go on Netflix, if you already got Netflix, it's up there, or you can go on YouTube, someone's uploaded it on there for free, which is ridiculous, I think, but uh, sure, go watch it right now if you can't wait, but it's definitely a must-buy, must-own. Then CM Punk's Blu-ray, of course, CM Punk, best in the world, this is an awesome WWE release. This is also a must-have on Blu-ray. You gotta get this on Blu-ray. But if you have Netflix right now, you can go watch it right now on Netflix. Maybe on YouTube too, but I do know that's on Netflix as well. So you gotta go check that out because that's an unbelievable Blu-ray as well. You get Punk's background from when he was a kid, you know, moving on into, you know, a lot of his indie days, which was really cool to see what he did. I had no idea that he created, a, you know, a big backyard wrestling uh, fed like bigger than anything I've ever even really heard of. I mean, I've heard of 70, 40 people, but never as many as he had, and they were basically running their own mini indie shows. So there's a lot of cool and, and background into punk, and, and just like Mick Foley's, I think, you know, you dig into the into the character, into the real human, and I think these two DVDs are so interesting. I think the closest DVDs to them are the Shawn Michaels uh, Heartbreak and Triumph and uh, Bret Hart, Heart and Soul, or whatever it was called. Those two, those four DVDs right now are my favorite Blu-ray releases about a wrestler from WWE. And let's not forget Triple H is coming up soon. So guys, if you want them on Blu-ray, I give it a, a huge thumbs up. And, um, and, and they're definitely worth the Blu-ray. A little bit of uh, news real quick. Goldberg says he's open to returning to WWE. Mentions two superstars he'd like to wrestle. And, and this is a report that's online. You can go all over the place. Everybody's reporting it. But that's, that's pretty interesting news. Uh, guys, everything we've been talking about with Goldberg, and now he's saying he's interested after rumors that he's been in talks. Guys, that's everything for this show, so I guess there's only one thing left to do. Eat a banana and set something on fire!